Today, 4th of February 2024, the first phase of Gurney Bay finally opens to the public. I arrived just in time to see the Governor of Penang, Tun Datuk Seri Utama Ahmad Fuzi Abdul Raza, leaving the site. Other dignitaries are also leaving. There's the former Chief Minister of Penang, Mr. Lim Guan Eng, heading towards his vehicle. Now let's enter Gurney Bay. There's a crowd of journalists gathering around, so let's head over. There must be a very important person giving a briefing. It's the Chief Minister, the Right Honourable Chow Kon Yao himself. Fish Dan Rockway, Water Garden, Open Car Park, Storm Water Channel dan lain-lain yang akan berlaku di fasa kedua. Untuk projek ini kita melantik selain dari kontraktor utama kita pun berdasarkan show daripada konsultan kita melantik empat nominated subcontractor untuk kerja-kerja yang khusus. Pertamanya soft landscape, skate park dan playground uh, untuk fasa pertama. Steel roof work di Hawker Center yang mempunyai bumbung yang ikonik lah saya rasa. Yes. Uh, the marine engineering melibatkan kerja-kerja khusus oleh itu kita melantik nominated subcontractor untuk kerja-kerja khusus ini. Penanaman pokok bagi fasa pertama sudah ditanam 1,500 batang pokok. Manakala 3,041 lagi akan ditanam di bawah fasa 2. Manakala 10,000 pokok renek telah pun ditanam di fasa satu dan kita jangka dalam uh, dua tahun lima tahun sehingga sepuluh tahun wajah uh, Gurney Bay akan bertukar kerana uh, dengan kematangan pokok-pokok maka kita akan wujudkan suasana yang berbeza <tuh> Selain itu, satu uh, keprihatinan orang awam dan juga saya sendiri adakah cukup tempat letak kereta jadi apabila siap kedua-dua fasa termasuk multi-level kapak kita akan dapat menyediakan 800 uh, kapak iaitu uh, Termasuk juga 12 lot uh, tempat letak bas, uh, 238 lot motosika dan kita akan bercadang menambah uh, kapak kita buka uh, dalam kawasan-kawasan yang masih boleh kita menambahkan tempat-tempat uh, letak kereta di bawah fasa satu ini kita akan melihat keperluan kapak. Kalau tidak, maka kita pun mungkin pengunjung boleh menggunakan kapak di pusat-pusat membeli-belah, hotel dan sebagainya di sekitar ini.
untuk menampung bilangan uh, pengunjung eh, yang hmm. mungkin dijangka ramai. Jadi hmm. ada ruang perniagaan di fasa 2 uh, re, uh, gerai retail kios surau tandas dan lain-lain kemudahan -lain. jadi itulah yang uh, dapat kita menawarkan kepada rakyat negeri Pulau Pinang lain-lain botol kita akan umumkan apabila sampai waktu ni sekadar ini kita setelah buat about saya rasa itulah inilah lawatan saya pertama setelah majlis pecah tanah sebab saya mau simpan uh, suspend eh. saya tidak melawat seperti jadir lah seperti Jason dari banyak kali saya mau tunggu saat ini juga lah dan merasakan gembira dan puas hati walaupun ada ruang untuk memperbaiki apa-apa kekurangan kita dapat mengkongsikan satu ruang awam kepada rakyat negeri Pulau Pinang melalui uh, Gani Bay Project ini. Okay. The storm water channel what is it about? Because uh, previously the the they are drains, monsoon drain flowing into the sea, so we need to we need to channelize it so that it continue to flow into the sea. Storm water. We collect the water. It's a drainage lah. Finish lah. Monsoon. In local terms, Hong Kong lah. Phase one probably is phase one. Phase one is. Twenty over acres. Twenty seven. Twenty seven acres. Twenty seven acres, eh? So phase two will be twenty three. Phase two is. Seventy seventy. Seventy four point one. Because all this sometimes very because we also put the reserve and all that lah. Anyway, not that important, isn't it? All in, I think it's 40 over lah, 40 over acres. Phase one, the park area lah. Some some other area are for other designated purpose. Okay. Yeah, so this place is open for four hours. Four hours. So far, it's. I think we will have to look at. Because certain places in the state for security reasons, right? We will deal with this issue from time to time. Up, up management, yeah. maybe start collecting parking fees. If not, residents or visitors will park here the whole day, denying other visitors the opportunity to park. And so on. Maintenance wise, we need also deal into this the toilet. Okay, do it, Sajid. Okay, okay, Sam. Thank you. Media puas hati atau tidak? Puas. Penat, penat puas. Penat dan puas. Okey, terima kasih. Now let's go view Gunny Bay for ourselves. Some photographs of Gani Bay, originally known as Gani Wharf. The name was changed to Gani Bay in response to feedback that the place is not actually a wharf. In a way, the name Gani Bay replaces an older and lesser known name, Teluk Ayur Raja, which denoted the curve of the Georgetown coastline between North Beach and Tanjung Tokong. It was called Teluk Ayur Raja, which means Bay of Kingly Waters, because this was where ships of old would stop by to replenish their water supply, which was brought down by coolies from the Penang Botanic Gardens waterfall. We are looking at a few passenger buggies. I think these are brought here only for today. And this is the new esplanade on the north coast of Georgetown. From here, we can see the northern coast of Georgetown, known as North Beach. 
North Beach, whose name is often distorted to Northern Beach, is the stretch between Gurney Drive and the old Esplanade. And that's one of the drains that empty into the sea along the northern coast. The esplanade at Gurney Bay comprises two promenades. We are now at the inner promenade behind the sea wall. From here, we catch a good view of Andaman Island, which is phase 2 of the Sri Tanjung Pinang neighborhood currently being developed out at sea. Indeed, the entire northeastern coastline of Penang Island is seeing a complete makeover, becoming one of the largest recreational precincts in the country when fully completed. From here, we can see the outer promenade, which is right next to the revetment created to prevent erosion. The promenades are lit at night, and I hope to do another video to show you the night scene at Gurney Bay. Here's the row of Gurney Drive hotels and luxury condominiums. If you remember, some of the residents of the condos here actually protested when the Gurney Bay project was footed. Now that the first phase is completed and they get to enjoy the fruits of it, I don't hear much protest anymore. All I can say is, if you were unhappy that Gurney Bay was envisioned, don't bother to visit it now. Gurney Bay is immense. It's not a place that you can visit in a hurry. It's intended for you to slow down, relax, enjoy the view, unwind. I am glad to see that the benches here don't have bars across the middle to prevent people from slipping on them. Penang is one of the places that have taken extraordinary lengths to house the homeless, including building a halfway house to shelter them. I am often critical of places that build uncomfortable benches so that the homeless would not have a place to sleep. We should solve the issue rather than sweep it under the carpet, and I'm happy with what the state government has done. Of course, it has not completely eliminated homelessness or beggars from the streets, but it is working on it. We are now entering the dry season, so the newly laid grass has not much chance to grow. But once the rainy season comes along, I believe this will transform into a green carpet. Over on this side is, would you believe it, an observation deck. Come, let me show you. It even has newly installed telescopes. There's only one entrance to the observation deck, so I will go around to enter it.
there are even wooden chairs for you to sit and enjoy the view. I haven't sat on those chairs, but they don't look very ergonomic to me. I hope I'm proven wrong on that, because this angle and on a clear day, you can have a front row seat to enjoy the most majestic view of Gunung Jurai. The view of Gunung Jurai, rising in the horizon, is one of my favorite sights in Penang and is completely free. Moving on, we walk down the slope looking across to Tanjung Tokong with the twin towers of the City of Dreams and the three towers of Ai Santorini. A list of do's and don'ts here, including no littering, no smoking, no hawking, no vandalizing, and no damaging of the plants. Let's go down this ramp to the Autumn Promenade. From here, you would see Gunung Jirai on a clear day, but it's not that clear this morning due to atmospheric haze. Best time to enjoy the view is in the afternoon when the sun is behind you. Here we see the newly created rock revetment to strengthen the extended coastline. The new outer promenade is long with only a few exits so I won't walk its entire length. What do we have here? Are these sun decks for people to sunbathe? 
I'm not sure how practical this is going to be. Sunbathing is not an Asian thing. Most Asians like to stay indoors and in aircon places. Maybe these are put up for the benefit of Western visitors? We'll see. One concern I have about building such a huge public park is the expense incurred to maintain it. Maintenance is not a forte of our local governments. It would be a pity to see these things built, left to neglect and eventually start to fall apart. It has always been so in many places in Malaysia, but for Gurney Bay, I sincerely hope it does not go down the same path. This brick thingy, which from far looks like a newly built pillbox or fort, is as I have guessed, the public toilet. It is now fully functional as I decided to give it a try after recording this video. There's more than one at Gurney Bay so the public do not have to walk too far to reach them. Now let's continue to the playground which is the central feature or highlight of Gurney Bay. It includes what is presently the tallest structure in the park. It is for children to climb and slide and is giving the escape theme park a run for its money except that it's on a reduced scale and is free. There is also a skateboard park which is something of a curiosity because only a minute fraction of the public and that includes a minute fraction of the local teenagers actually skateboard. In all honesty, I think a water theme park with swimming pools and water slides would be a whole lot more popular. But I suppose the authorities are going for a lower hanging fruit to create something that requires low maintenance and low upkeep. A water park would require hiring lifeguards and that would be cost involved. I suppose the, the public would not mind a reasonable entrance fee if the water park is a fun attraction. But well, this is what we get.
And here we have what is presently the tallest building along Gurney Drive and the second tallest in Penang. This is Marriott Residences, housing a hotel and a luxury condominium. Landscaping work is ongoing. To our left, you can see that they are planting Beach Morning Glory, which is expected to cover the area in a few months from now. It will create a brilliant pattern when seen from above. As we make our way westward, we are heading in the direction of Phase 2, which is still under construction and will probably be ready only in another couple of years. You can see far away the partition wall separating phase 1 from the construction side of phase 2. Let's walk all the way to the seaside on the westernmost part of phase 1 and end our walk looking into phase 2. We are at the inner prominent once again, but there's a flight of stairs to take us to the outer prominent. The barrier in front of us marks the end of phase 1. We will end our walk when we get there.
So there we are my friend, I will walk to discover Gurney Bay. If you enjoy watching this video, please give it a like as it would help the algorithm show it to more people. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy discovering places with me. And now, click the thumbnail to watch another video I created for you. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.